Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is week 5 of my Grow Along With Me series, where we're learning how much food can be grown in a small space. In the last few weeks we properly filled and watered a large growing bag. We then planted some onions and garlic, and we've sown some carrots and turnips. Now that we're well into May we can get some spinach growing, and it's also a good time for lettuce leaves too, so let's get both done at the same time. Checking on the growing bag this morning we can see the onions and garlic are still growing on well, and the garlic has some healthy leaves growing. The carrots have also germinated which is excellent. They can take a long time, and the fact that we have so many seedlings growing is a really good sign that we planted them at the right time. The multi sown turnips are also starting to germinate, and it won't take long until they fill up their space. While you're checking on your growing area, keep an eye out for weeds growing and remove them while they're small. We get a lot of wind and rain at this time of the year, and it's the perfect way for weed seeds to spread and take a hold in your garden. There's been a brief pause in the rain so I'm going to quickly sow these seeds before I get soaked again. I'm going to sow cut and come again lettuce in the centre of this area, with the spinach around the outside. Now the lettuce is taller than the spinach, but there'll be far less of it, so it shouldn't cause too big of a shadow, plus we'll be harvesting it often too. If you're ever sowing different seeds in one spot, it can be easy to lose track of what you planted where. A simple solution is to create a visual divide. I use toilet roll tubes as they break down in the soil and they don't restrict the roots at all. Cut a small section and push it into the soil. When these seedlings grow, we'll easily be able to tell which ones are which. Make a small hole in the soil at the centre of the tube with a pencil. Open the lettuce seed packet and carefully pour 4 to 5 seeds into your hand and drop these into the hole. Gently press the soil back down and give it a water if your soil is dry. We'll thin down to the strongest seedling later. Be careful when moving on to the spinach as the seeds are often loose inside the packet. Be particularly careful on windy days as most seeds are very light. Pour them into your hand, and one pinch at a time, Sprinkle the seeds evenly over the surface of the area you wish to grow in. As with all the other sowings, make sure to go right up to the edge to use as much space as possible. Now there are two ways of covering seeds. The first is the simplest and the cleanest. Grab a pencil or a spoon and ruffle up the surface of the compost where the seeds are. This will cause them to drop down into holes and be covered with compost. The downsides to this method is that you can sometimes make seeds bounce around into other areas, or they can clump together rather than being dispersed. The second method is safer, and that is to grab a few handfuls of compost and lightly cover the sown area, then press it down lightly with the palm of your hand. I'll do a half and half and we can see if it makes any difference later. Lastly, make yourself a label, and pop this in place. I'm mega happy with how this is coming along, it's only a small area and we have so much packed in. I'm also excited to see if this provides a large varied harvest, or because things are grown so close together we get lots of smaller crops. We're almost done with the sowings, but we have space for two more crops. Next week is the end of May which means if we're going to grow parsnips, we need them in the ground soon. Get yourself a packet of seeds so you're ready. If you don't like parsnips, then you can go for radish, or beetroot will have a similar spacing to the parsnips. Thank you to my patrons for their ongoing support, and do consider joining the community, as I need to buy a new tripod which doesn't blow over so much. Please leave your thoughts on progress in the comments and I'll see you all next week. Thank you and happy growing.